Hey guys, Royer Neta. I have work to do. Please leave the printer and get out of the room now. Roy. Neta. Leave the printer, please. Please leave the room. I have a lot of work to do. Go to your mom. Hey babies, who wants a cookie? Now I can walk. Hi, my name is Itzigan Baruch, and in addition to be a father of three, I'm a technical marketing manager at GitLab. And today I'm going to show you a demo of continuous delivery with GitLab. Meet Tanuki Tech, our demo application. This application has a login button, and the product team decided to add a new button to enable users to login with their Google account. I will show you how with GitLab CI CD pipeline we deploy this new code to production environment while minimizing risks. The dev team already made the necessary changes and pushed it to the server, which triggered a CI CD pipeline, which built, tested and deployed automatically to the staging environment. So now I will open the environments page and check the new staging environment. And this is the new button as expected. All looks good. So now we will deploy it to production. I will go back to the CI CD pipeline. Our pipeline is defined as continuous delivery pipeline. That means that it will deploy automatically to staging, but we will need to manually deploy to production. We will use incremental rollout. I will deploy it only to 10% of my pods. The job succeeded, so I will go back to my production environment. I have here a red dot. It represents the new code that is now being deployed to one pod. Let's open now the production instance and see how it looks like. So as expected, I don't see the new login button. However, some of my users will see it. So let's refresh it until we will see the new button. Here's the new login button, same URL. Some users uh, see the old version and some users see the new version. I can uh, roll out to 100% of my users and then uh, all of my pods will have the new code and uh, we will have a new version fully deployed. However, if I want to roll back to a previous version, I will go to my environments. This list is my uh, production deployment history. I will search for an old commit that I want to redeploy. If I click here on rollback, it will redeploy that old commit. Excellent, the job succeeded. So now I will open again my production environment and I will check again environment and now I can refresh many times and I will see only the alt button which means we rolled back successfully to the previous version. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you soon at my next videos.